this week I'm doing a special pin haul. Um, I went to Burlap Bag the other day because they were having uh, their big uh, grand opening slash five year anniversary party. Um, my friends just moved locations and they are on Guadalupe in Austin. I'll have the address down below. Uh, but the Burlap Bag is owned by my friend Lauren and her husband Josiah. They have a little girl Greta who is one of Emmett's friends and um, they just moved into this new space. It's huge, it's big, it's huge and big, you guys. Uh, but it's beautiful and they carry some of my pins, which is exciting. I have a few prints and earrings there for sale. Uh, but they have uh, probably around a hundred, maybe more indie artists and they carry only indie, um, handmade and uh, designer stuff. So it's a really great store. They also make their own candles, which smell amazing. I've definitely hollered about them on the channel before. Uh, so I picked up a couple of those too uh, while I was there because I can't uh, help myself. But I thought it would be fun to share my pin haul because I went a little bit crazy. They have a whole wall. They've got a section of pins that's just mm, picture here. Um, it's awesome. It's just so full and beautiful and you just go and you're like this one, this one, this one, this one. You can't, uh, you can't buy just one. It's physically impossible. So I ended up buying like 10 or 11. So here is what I got. I got something from Eastside Design Co. It says Norman, Oklahoma. Oh, there's a little pickle. This one's not for me. This is for uh, my mom. Hopefully she's already got it by the time I put this video up. Um, but I just thought this was so happy. And I thought it was such a cool use of the colored enamel too. I'm a pin nerd as I uh, <laughs> uh, get my own pins made. I love seeing how other people do them. Um, oh yeah, this one uh, has been on my list for a long time and it's just about time that I got it. The Introvert by Culture Flock, illustrated by uh, Quana Lee on Instagram. Check her out. Her art is incredible. I love her Harry Potter fan art. It's so good. Um, even though I got an introvert, but I just took a quiz online, as you do, and I found out I'm an ambivert, so I'm like both. So I hope that starts being more of a thing, uh, but I definitely, I like being at home with my family and my cats, so <laughs> introvert life for me, for sure. Um, here is one from Felt Good that has been on my list forever, too. This donut, I mean, it's pink and sprinkles. I'm obligated to own this. Like, morally obligated. It's so cute. Um, oh, this is one by Lisa Chow. I just thought it was uh, such a cute little pink house. You can never have too many pink pins. That's what I say. Also, this paper is really shiny. It's cute. I just now noticed that. I like that. Okay, Boy Girl Party, who was like the original uh, crazy pin lady, is, her animals are so good, and definitely buy stuff from her retailers. She's had her stuff ripped off um, by larger, I want to say it was Francesca's, and then Tuesday Bassett was ripped off by Zara. Um, so a lot of these bigger companies are just flat out stealing designs from indie makers and that sucks. So definitely support the uh, shops themselves. I'm really glad that I could buy a uh, boy girl party from one of her approved retailers. Look at this cat in a box. So cute. Cats love boxes, you guys. It's adorable. And then this one is for my dad because it looks just like my grandmother's dog, Tinkerbell. Love this. It's our little tink. So cute. Oh yeah, the hedgehog because hedgehog. Also another gift. <laughs> I really hope nobody watches this before I give them their present. Okay, I've got a couple, a few more. 
um, Lux Cups. It's a friend of mine. Look how cute this sweet tooth is. Another like colored enamel situation. She used the white enamel and then um, did the colors in there. So cute. I had to get the pink sprinkles because duh. Multiple pink sprinkles in this one. And look how amazing this little ray gun is. Holy crap. These pastels are perfect and the design is so cute. I love this pen so much. Oh my goodness, I can't even tell you. It's so good. So good. Okay. Last two are from a place called Lucky Horse Press. And she's got this little fan. Reminded me of a fan that was at my grandma's house when I was little. You know when you see those little things and they just remind you of memories? Because I used to be up in the loft in their uh, townhouse. And she'd have this little oscillating fan going. The window open. You could kind of, kind of hear the um, traffic from the street a little bit. And it was just this warm breeze. And it just reminds me of summertime and, and visiting my my grandma so I got this one and obviously because ice cream I love ice cream and she letter presses cards too I have one here ta-da um these are so cute oh made in New Jersey I just saw that um but she letter presses her packaging and everything too so I think that's really cool but I just think these are adorable. And she has tons of other designs. They're very kind of Americana to me, which is cool. But that's what I got. I got, I got so many pens. I've been, I've kind of been holding off on buying some pens recently because I binged like a couple months ago. So apparently I have a, a binging pen problem. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a pretty cute problem to have so now I have to figure out where to put all of these pins so I can display them so I'll probably do another video soon of how I am uh, changing up my display for my pins a little bit so that'll be fun but check out all these artists uh, buy some of their pins because they're amazing and we can be twinsies and it'll be great Yay! All right. uh, I hope this is helpful I hope you check out some of the um, artists below and thanks for watching I'll see you next week.